I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the country washcloth. I have a couple of my sample ones here. This is a wonderfully textured washcloth. It almost kind of resembles uh, a waffle stitch but it is not quite. It is much easier to work. So it's a fairly simple washcloth with a beautiful simple edging on it. Uh, great to make with your yarn scraps and as gifts for family or friends or maybe for your own kitchen as well. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. It's a 100% cotton yarn uh, with a worsted weight. You can use any of your favorite cotton that you might have on hand. You're going to need approximately 100, 130 yards for this washcloth. You're also going to need a five millimeter or an H8 crochet hook, hook and a copy of the free written instructions which are on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. I'll have direct links for you in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every single week with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So for our country dish cloth today, we're going to work it in rows. So we're going to take our yarn and make a slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a total of 31 chain stitches. Now if you would like to change the size of your dish cloth, you're going to need a multiple of three stitches plus one for this foundation chain. So we're going to chain 31. And this is going to give you a washcloth that is approximately 8 by 8 inches. Once you have worked your 31 chains, you're going to begin row 1 by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and into the next stitch you're going to work two double crochet stitches. a chain two and then single crochet back into the same stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches into your next stitch work two double crochet stitches chain two and single crochet back into the same stitch. Repeat this all the way across where you're going to finish uh, with two stitches remaining. So repeat until you have two stitches remaining. When you come across and only have two stitches remaining, you're going to skip that next stitch and finish with a double crochet into that final chain. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to begin with a single crochet into your first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. You're then going to work two double crochet and a chain two into your next chain two space. So you're skipping that single crochet just into the next chain two space, work two double crochet stitches and chain two. You're then going to work a front post single crochet around the post of the next stitch which is your next double crochet. So to work your front post single crochet, you're going to bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of the next double crochet from the front through to the back, out through the front again, yarn over, draw up a loop, 
yarn over and pull through those two loops on your hook. That's your front post single crochet. You're then going to repeat that all the way across into your next chain two space. Work two double crochet stitches. Chain two and front post single crochet around the post of the next stitch. Into your next chain two space, work two double crochet stitches, chain two and front post single crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way across until you come to that final stitch which is a single crochet stitch. When you come all the way across to your final single crochet, you're simply going to end with a double crochet into that final single crochet stitch. Chain one and turn your work. You're now going to repeat your row two for rounds three through to 20. So single crochet into that first stitch into your next chain two space, work your two double crochets, chain two and front post single crochet. So repeat this row two for rows three through to 20 and then meet me back here at the end of row 20. Once you have worked through to the end of row 20, this is what your work looks like from the beginning. Uh, your piece should be fairly square. You can add or subtract rows as needed to get it the size that you would like. At the end of that row 20, there's no need to fasten off. You can chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work an edging around our washcloth. So you're going to start by working a single crochet into the first stitch. We're working along the top. In each chain two space, you're going to work one single crochet and then one single crochet in each double crochet. Single crochet in the next chain two space and work one single crochet into each of the next double crochet stitches. You're going to continue this all the way across. Uh, you'll want to end with 30 stitches all the way across the top until you come to your corner stitch. You can change the number of stitches you have. Just make note of it because you'll want to have, if you're working a square washcloth, you'll want to have the same number of stitches on all sides. When you come across to that final corner, that final stitch, you're going to work one more single crochet into the corner and you're then going to work the same number of stitches all the way along the rough edge. So again, I start in the corner and then you want to work the same number of stitches that you worked for the top all the way across. When you come to that corner again, you're going to work one more stitch into the corner, work along the bottom single crochet all the way across the same number 
one in the corner, up the side, one in the corner, and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. When you come all the way around to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. You're then going to work one half double crochet into the same stitch as joining and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way along the top of your washcloth until you come to that corner stitch. When you come to that corner stitch, in that corner stitch you're going to work three half double crochet stitches. This should give you a nice rounded corner. You're then going to continue working half double crochet stitches in each stitch all the way along the next side until you come to that corner stitch when you come to the corner stitch again work three half double crochet stitches into the corner continue along the next side and so forth all the way around until you come back to that first stitch when you come to that first stitch join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch fasten off weave in your ends and that's all there is to working your country dishcloth. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look at some of the other patterns there. If you happen to make a few of these washcloths, feel free to tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media. I'll come by and admire it. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.